Goldman coming at you from New York City, pre-holiday season, and I wanted to give you a gift, a pre-holiday gift for basically anyone who loves rock and roll and who loves wine. There are a lot of us. And when I launched my first interview with Alex Lifeson of Rush, people were so psyched. I've gotten emails every day, Mark, I want more Alex. That was a great interview. He's so cool. Well, guess what we have coming straight ahead. More Alex Lifeson of Rush from his home cellar in Toronto. He told me about how he and Getty did special wine internships in California and how much it meant to them. So without further ado, from Toronto, Mr. Alex Lifeson, a.k.a. Lurkst. They had um, a bunch of the restaurateurs from San Francisco come up to the winery at Phelps and they did a big dinner for them and I sat with jo Joseph Phelps that night and as a gift I took him a bottle of 1941 Sebastiani that was um, bottled in 44 and it was labeled 44 because they had a fire there and they lost all the records at the winery and I ha bought a six bottle case from a dealer in Lansing, Michigan and um, I think at the time he had two or three of them and I wish I bought them all because they were so unique and I took this one bottle to, to Joe and said, you know, I, I, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to work here for a week, um, like a slave. <laughs> um, but uh, I wanted to share something that was really special that, I, that I've come across. And I told him about the wines, and he was blown away. He said, where did you find this? This is, a, this is incredible. This is a piece of, of California winemaking history here. And, uh, and I felt so, you know, proud that I, I made a good choice. And he said, we've got to open it up right now and drink it. And I said, no, 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 this is, this is a gift for you. And he says, well, that's what wine is about. It's a gift. So let's open it up and let's drink it. And we opened it, and it was awesome. Like, it was fantastic. And, uh, you know, everybody had a little sip, and Craig was in there, and everybody was so excited about it because there was such great history in the wine. And so um, that was a really wonderful experience. I had fun, fun memories of that. What, what were some of the things you were doing at Phelps? I did everything. You know, I would I would get picked up in the morning at about 6.15, and uh, um, let's see, I did punch downs, pump overs, uh, I washed out barrels, I cleaned um, the white barrels. We went, I went out to the, to the vineyards with Craig when he was, um, doing all his final testing uh, for the harvest and he would pick, he would designate parts of the vineyard for a certain time of day, you know, do this one in the morning, do that one in the afternoon, and I mean it was really impressive the science that went into it. Um, I really got to do a little bit of everything while I was there and, uh, and it was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. Kenny and I went to Turley's. Um, in 98 and we spent a few days and that was the year that the the, uh, the harvest ended up being very late that year it went into October and we kind of booked that third week in September to go down because we figured that that's usually when it starts and we managed to do one vineyard where we went out and we we didn't actually do the picking but we pulled all the leaves and all the spiders and all the crap out of the bins. So we were covered head to toe in grape juice up to our shoulders and all over our shoes and, and shorts. And then uh, after we finished that morning, we started about four o'clock, after we finished that morning, I guess around eight or nine, something like that, we drove back to, we were staying at the Harvest Inn. Uh, we just got cleaned up a little bit and then we had to go to the, to the winery uh, to, to start the crush. So Ged and I stopped to have lunch on the way, and we felt so proud. We went in, and our fingers were all purple, and our <laughs> nails were all purple, and we had juice all over our shirts. And we went and had lunch in this restaurant, and it was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah you guys are locals, aren't you? Yeah. You're the real deal, <laughs> finally. Yeah. Non-tourists. <laughs> yeah, we'll get you some service right away. So, you know.